Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hoping you guys are having a lovely week. And I really have to stop using the word guys. I know. I just use it since I was a kid and it never meant anything. Now, of course, it well, it always did, but you know what I mean? Like, I didn't mean it to mean anything, but of course, it means something. So I apologize to everyone. I say, Hello to everyone out there. I hope you're all doing a great, uh, great, having a great time, doing well, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, here in Ontario, or where I am, I have snow. And Pax has already been out in it. So there we go. All right, we'll get down to it. So first things first is I'm actually going to make um, a small batch of our baked beans. So uh, yesterday, I actually uh, dehydrated a bunch of pinto and kidney beans. So I'm just going to drain them. Right. I'm going to actually use our multi-purpose 12 cup um, stainless steel pot. There we go. And then I have the rest of our hello, clean. So this is our oops, half a package left of our better than baked beans seasoning. So in here is like red bell peppers, onion, um, organic coconut, palm sugar, spices, chives, and mustard. And the whole package is actually like to make eight cups worth. So like four cans of the beans, obviously that's not what I have in here, I'm just been using half. Um, and it does say a can of crushed tomatoes, but I never use tomatoes or crushed tomatoes. We usually use this instead. So just gonna do that, and since I need a little bit of vinegar, we will do this to get all the tomato out. Okay. And then we need some molasses, and I need a better way to hold molasses because this thing is messy. How are you doing this morning? How are things going for you? And I better use that. Mm -hmm. If you watch me, I never follow instructions. Anyway, all right, so the baked beans, we got some molasses, we got some tomatoes, we got the beans, we got the seasonings in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Um, I'm probably going to, actually, I'm going to add a little extra water right now because I'm going to slow cook it longer than, in essence, it's asked for. And then partway through, I already prepared these yesterday. It's just pig belly. I just baked them in the oven um, using our cooling racks inside the sheet pan. Um, that way um, it's still got the bit of flavor of being cooked and then it's gonna toss in there. So you could just use bacon, that's fine. Um, this is just what we like um, when we make our baked beans. All right. On to the back. Okay, so there we go. Pretty much baked beans are done from my point of view at the moment. I just put it on medium. Once it hits, starts boiling, I'll turn it back down to low and just let it simmer and simmer and simmer and away we go. All right, next I'm gonna make is some quinoa. Um, Pax is running around like a mad cat today. <laughs> uh, so I'm making a, a cup of quinoa. This is for later today's meal. So sometimes planning is not most, you know, not all about, or I should say prep. It's not just about, you know, making a full meal. It is about actually just, hey, do you wanna? I just dropped an uncooked egg. Oh no. <laughs> so with quinoa, it's like double, the amount you would normally do for rice um, and then in the microwave for uh, 12 minutes and this is just gonna since pre cooked or par cooked for uh, the meal we're gonna make later today I've already got chicken cut up in the fridge 
mostly I didn't show you that because I'm sure you don't want to see me chop chicken. So that's why. So the chicken was chopped. And the other reason why I did that was because I'm actually making a marinade for some meat, some beef here. So beef tenderloin, I chopped into small thin pieces. Again, you probably don't want to see me cook chop that. So that was my pre prep prepare. And yesterday I did the beans um, and I did the, the pig belly to go with the beans um, while I was making this. So if yesterday you saw, I, I made some like um, churro monkey bread using our quick biscuits. It was really easy to do. Um, I just made the biscuits like normal. And then I used our rolling sheet, but you can use whatever you want. Roll it out. Um, and then I sprinkled, uh, put a whole bunch of butter on. You don't have to use butter. It could be oil or um, margarine or whatever, or vegan butter, whatever you want. And then put a whole bunch of churro seasonings on it. It doesn't have to be churro as well. It could have been cinnamon. It could have been our baked apple. It could have been our summer berry. It, anything you'd like, pretty much. Um, and then I just cut it up using... Um, our silicone knife here and then rolled it up and stuffed it into a cake pan and baked it for 45 minutes at 375 um, and there you go so that's what I have so I did not eat it all even though I was like saying I might I was good I was a good girl um, so then I could just take this out put it in a little dish warm it up and have it um, as a dessert or whatever so there we go so that's kind of like a little bit of work yesterday but mostly because I really wanted a cinnamon roll thingy um, so while I was doing that I was doing the beans so there we go um, this is our December epic box. Um, so there are some fun things in this box uh, for you guys or for anyone who got the December box. So it comes with a mac and cheese. That's pretty awesome. Comes with a taco. Comes with the kima curry, which is awesome for making like um, samosas. Uh, tahini, which I'm actually going to use. Cajun chicken, Alfredo, General Tao, and carne gasa. And there's a whole load of recipes for all these. I've actually posted them throughout the week for you guys to see other ways you could use these if you already have them in your cupboard or you want to try something new. You are welcome to take a look at those and see what else you can do. You don't just have to follow what it says on the back of the package. You can totally have some fun. So we like this particular flavor, pro flavor profile. That is this one of the tahini power bowl. I don't actually just make it into power bowls. I could barely make it into power bowls. Um, I use it as a salad dressing, but I also use it to make it as a dipping sauce for Thai salad rolls. Um, and I'm gonna actually use it as a marinade a bit and then use it up the last bit. I'll half marinate, half I'll use as a dipping sauce. Um, so in, in here um, is organic coconut palm sugar, organic lemon powder, organic lemon juice, um, garlic, sea salt, and turmeric. So it's very much more of like on the sour side, uh, sweet and sour side, which will be going great with um, the beef here. So I'm gonna pour out about half, maybe a little bit more than half. Um, a couple of tablespoons of some rice vinegar and a probably not even a tablespoon of soy sauce. And whisk that up. and just put a tiny bit of water in okay so there we go simple marinade that i'm just going to pour in to our beef here mix it up a little and then put this into the fridge and this will marinate for at least 24 hours um and then it can be for tomorrow's lunch dinner um and the next day's lunch most likely maybe even dinner <laughs> So, that is the meat out of the way, and just tidy up a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. Out of the way. Now I'm going to actually make our, um, my breakfast. Okay, so it's starting to boil. So now I'm just going to turn it down to low and let it simmer away. That is the baked beans. Um, Partway through, I will throw into the, 
the pig belly that I already cooked up. Um, and then that's for that. And there's lots of things. All right. And this is why when we had our special on our <laughs> prep bowls, I bought more because I go through them like you wouldn't believe with meal prep. <laughs> okay, I'm making my always make my go to uh, uh, bliss balls. Um, I'm going to switch it up using our Dolce Vita. Um, but you could use um, dark and dreamy hot chocolate, you could use the matcha, you could use the pumpkin spice. It's kind of whatever flavor profile you want to try, but that's the one I'm going to use today. So it is two cups. It is actually, well, it's 12 big dates or basically a cup of regular dates uh, put in some water just so that it softens up a little bit. Use the water um, if you don't have too much in there. I actually am going to put a bit of our turmeric. By the way, the turmeric is on sale uh, this month. And look at the color of that turmeric, right? Lovely. All right, so a bit of turmeric. I'm using our vanilla protein, but you could use whatever protein you like. Two scoops. There is chocolate too, but again, just whatever you guys like. It says a half a cup of hemp herbs, but what I put in is just regular rolled oats, but that's again, your flavor profile. And then some either some peanut butter, nut butter, seed butter, whatever you want. And I am going to use tahini. I'm end at the end of my container here. Which might mean I might be scraping for a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Probably say warm it up. That would work to get this out from the bottom. Did not prep this for you guys properly. Sorry, it's gonna take me a second. But anyway, basically, I'm gonna make my power, power bliss balls, um, like I like to do. But what I'm gonna do is just roll it in the Dolce Vita seasoning or mix or whatever, um, drink mix. Um, but you could just use anything you like, cocoa, um, coconut, nuts, yeah, we're gonna microwave this for a sec. Steal our quinoa. Yeah, whatever you wanna roll your little balls into, you totally can. You could put, use the vanilla, and then roll them in chocolate, which gives you that chocolate cookie flavor. Or you could put little tiny chocolate chips in them. That works too. I might have to open a peanut butter. Pee anyway, there we go. Uh, so many options. And this is how Candace tries to figure out what to do. <laughs> Let's check out our quinoa. Yeah, a few more minutes. All right, metal it is. Metal spoon. Yeah, definitely going to have to use some little extra water for these because the tahini is quite dry, as you can see. So, noisy! pretty good. Just going to scrape it down, add in a tiny bit of milk. I'm using oat milk, but you could use whatever. You could just use water if you wanted. That's fine too. Okay, 
There we go. Woohoo! A little extra effort, but now we have some balls. So there we go. Oop. Oh my gosh, it's throwing them everywhere. So see the color of that is because of the turmeric. And you just grab some out, roll them to whatever size you like, and away you go. If you don't want crunchy bits of dates, like I have at the moment, um, just put the dates in first, let them uh, blend up a little bit, and then add in everything. Um, I'm okay with it, but that's up to you. Um, whatever your texture profile is. So yeah, that's it. One last thing to do, which is I'm going to chop up a bunch of spinach. Hi, Audra. Um, and that's also for this afternoon's meal is some spinach, some chicken, and uh, the quinoa. So all I have to do is take the seasonings and then just cook everything together. And we'll have a nice, um, well, lunch in essence. Uh, it is actually for, uh, why I'm not telling you what the seasoning is, <laughs> is because it's our new season coming in January, um, and we are trying it out. So a few team members and a few adoptees from other teams are coming over this afternoon, and we are going to try some new flavors. So that way we can tell you what they taste like. So as you can tell, one has to do with chicken. <laughs> But as you also know, you can use whatever type of protein you like. It doesn't have to be a uh, chicken. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, then I will be looking forward to telling you guys all about it in January. So yeah. Finger or my fingers, my hands are turning very uh, too murky color. <laughs> this one would be good to roll in um, coconut. I know I already said that, but I'm looking at the color profile and I'm like, ooh, coconut. <laughs> Which maybe I'll go get. Okay, so there we go. Bunch of different size balls. Wash my hands. Go check on the quinoa. There's the quinoa, it's just finishing cooking. So just wanted to show you quick, but I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it finish doing what it's doing. So it's ready for this afternoon. So as I said, some coconut. I what the good thing about are also our prep bowls is you put a whole bunch of whatever you want to roll your little balls into or truffles or anything. Don't you be just being a pain. Okay. So take it, roll it around like this gets enough flavor and then do the same with the coconut there we go one and two so different flavors whatever it is you want so there you go so that's it oh pretty cool I'm on my 20 minute mark so there we are thank you guys for watching uh, yeah, I'm just gonna finish rolling up uh, my uh, protein power balls into some form of seasoning flavor or whatever and then store them in the fridge I got the baked beans going on really low that'll be all day thing um, we like them low and slow you could do them quicker for sure if you did canned beans uh, throw them into the microwave in the steamer or even in the pan and that's pot that's fine um, we just have our 
we've adapted it to the way we like it, which is a little more molasses, some pig belly, um, and then longer uh, cooking time. Um, and that's how we do it. Um, this afternoon is I've got the chicken going. I'm going to do the spinach in a second. Quinoa is ready for it. Um, I marinated some beef in some tahini power bowl seasonings. Um, and then I'll make the sauce for it as well. And then that's for like two, uh, probably Monday night, Tuesday kind of idea. And that's kind of what I got done, I think. There we go. Anyway, uh, it's still a couple more days left if you were interested in getting items or needed to get items before um, the holidays. If that is something you're concerned about, um, the 13th is our last um, guaranteed shipping day. It'll be there before the 24th. If that is not a concern, it's always open. You can always order and you can always get it delivered to you. It's all good. It's just, you know, the holidays, certain days, uh, FedEx is closed, things like that. That's more about that. Um, there is the Epic Life Challenge starting up in January, on January 9th. Um, it's free to join. Um, it's, it's a Facebook group. If you need assistance with the Facebook group, I'll help you to navigate through. It is a lot, but there's also a lot of information, which is why it's great. Um, there are files with... Uh, meal plans, files for um, movement ideas. There's actually a, a physical trainer in there, a dietitian, two dietitians, I think. Anyway, nutritionists, things like that. So they answer a lot of questions um, and help you out with all that. Our guide is perfect if you don't already have our good food guide um, because it comes with all the meal plans. It comes with recipe ideas. It comes with swapping ideas, anything like that. Um, that's all there too in the group and in the guide. So it's just about whatever works best for you. Our journal is now digital. So a lot of people really wanted a digital journal. So uh, that's available as well. You just download that one when you sign up. And yeah, so sign up is free. And inside the group, actually, there are opportunities to win things like product or gift cards and all that. So that's fun. I've won a few products. Yes, I won a couple times with products. It's it's pretty cool. Just share your epic life, you know, meal plan, which is what we do on Sunday anyways. Share your um, non-scale victories. So, you know, how you feel more energetic when you wake up or you're playing with your kids and you, any of that, like whatever it is, you know, it's not about, it's not about the weight loss. That isn't really what the group is about. If you do feel better and all that, and that's fine. It's like, for me, the weight loss is a byproduct of it. It is more about feeling healthy and energetic and having stanima, sleeping well, eating well, and all that. And then we know we get overwhelmed with so many things going on in the world that um, our health becomes not top priority sometimes. Um, and with the group, it helps you stay a little more on, on, on par with what you would like for yourself, right? So it's whatever you really want. Um, so it is like, for me, it is the being consistent with the movement every day, being consistent with making sure I go to bed the right time, wake up, things like this. Um, and it all kind of goes hand in hand, right? You can't sleep well if you're not eating well, you can't eat well if you're not sleeping well. It's like, it's just a lovely circle, right? So anyway, that's what the group is about. If you're interested in joining, feel free. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you have questions about it, hit me up. There is still the specials. There's two specials left, the Caesar uh, mix and the Caesar rim mix and the four just individual spices like the one I used today, the turmeric is one of them. So if you wanted them, it's a good deal, 25% off. And I feel like there was something else. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. That's what's going on. I'm about if you need me, um, but other than that, I'm probably gonna hibernate a little bit this holidays as well. So. Um, Happy holidays, everyone, um, and have an awesome week. Thanks for joining. Bye.